Hey Sean, sorry about your pops. I'll miss him, Sean, I really will. Save it. You two liked him more than me. Especially you, Mickey. Yeah, well, he was like a father to me. And that makes one of us. You boys in blue have any clues? No. We don't really give a shit who killed him. One less mutt to have to worry about. Well, you had to deal with him and I had mine. But he was always good to me. So I'm gonna get to the bottom of this bullshit. And somebody, whoever it was, is gonna pay. I wish you the best of luck with that. Well, if it ain't the boys of Holy Cross, how you degenerates doing? Hey, hi. How are your brothers, Kane? Holding up all right? They each got about a year left. Well, that's some judicial system we got. Warms a cop's heart to know that our work isn't for nothing. <laughs> He's no dummy. He figures the safest seat in the house is next to Father Tom. I'm telling you that little hard on knows something. Trust me, he don't, don't know his ass from his elbow. Him and Sean are best friends. Maybe Sean told him something. Will you shut the hell up with this bullshit? Sean didn't kill his own father. You weren't in the pool hall that night, Mickey. He was pretty fired up, talking shit like he wanted to kill him. <laughs> talking about it and doing it are two very different things. When he gets here, we ought to ask him directly what he knows. What he knows? My money says he called the shot. Enough of this shit, you friggin' morons. That doesn't make any sense. Batten had no reason to take out Mr. O. He was making a lot of money, and that's the name of this game. But there was more to be made. So maybe somebody tipped Patton off as to what Mr. O was planning. Mr. O wasn't planning shit. You're the one planning. Filling his head with stupid ideas taking o about taking over. There was, that was never something Mr. O talked about until you came up with it. There ain't nothing stupid about that idea, Smitty. It just would take some balls. Maybe something you don't got. I want to smack the shit out of you right now. Yeah, you should. But you won't. Because you got no balls. You knuckleheads got nothing better to do than shoot pool and drink beer all afternoon. Actually, we do, Mr. Big Shot. We got some very important business to discuss. So you got filled in on the good news. Do you not understand how this works? This is a money-making enterprise we're involved in. Everything we do is about making money. That's it. And with Mr. O, God rest his soul, singing with the angels, everybody now gets a bigger piece of the profits. But it's still small-time bullshit. What about our bigger plan, huh? That's where the real money is. Mr. O may have bought into your horseshit pipe dreams about taking over the West Side, but I'm not. You want to do it? Go right ahead, but leave me out. Because you're a goddamn coward. I got no interest in starting a war with Patton, or where we can't possibly win. Patton's an old man. His whole crew is old men. I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. Listen to me, you goddamn lunatic. What I want is to make as much money as I can and get out of this racket before I either end up in jail or dead in the river like Mr. O. So put your friggin' stupid ass plans to bed already. Oh. I'm done with you, you piece of shit! Good. Nothing would make me happier, you nut job. <laughs>